Amid heightened romance was chieftained of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, and internal frictions in the People's Democratic Party, PDP, over the outcome of the party's presidential primaries in May, River State Governor Yusin Wiki has maintained that he would not dump the party for any reason. The declaration came as a relief to the party faithful across the country, including the national chairman, Iyocha Ayu, who yesterday described Wiki as a strong party man. Meanwhile, veteran journalist Dele Momodu, who also has said that the governor of, of River State will not dump the main opposition party um, and is only playing mind games. Well, to break this down, we have joining us Chrissy Tamanola. He's a former uh, special advisor to the governor of River State on information. And, of course, Michael Achimugu, who's a media consultant, has also joined us. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you very much. But I'm sorry. Are you to be a special advisor on the party and then later special advisor on labor? Okay, great. Let's start with you, Mr. Tamanola, because you are you were part of the kitchen cabinet of Governor Wike, so you obviously have a better um, idea as to what's happening. Dele Momodu has been quoted to say that your principal, or your former principal, is only playing mind games and has no plan whatsoever to leave the People's Democratic Party. So again, let me ask, what kind of mind games will Governor Wike be playing and to what end? Thanks again. Dele Momodu has said that Governor Wike is playing mind games and is not, uh, has no intention to leave the party. So I'm asking, what sort of mind games is the governor playing and to what end? Well, um, let's talk about our minds back to the beginning. In 2014, he became governor, and at that particular time, you know that a good number of the um, um, the, uh, the the party players that we have right now, many of them don't vote, including our um, presidential now presidential candidate for the party. That is the decision of the matter, and within that particular period, we can stop. To the party out of love, out of genuity. And then now the things are getting rosy, and all of a sudden the issues are coming up. But notwithstanding, if we can decide that we want to leave, so where? Is it to FPC? Is it to Labour Party? So the most important thing is to be within the party that he loves, not because he cannot go, but because of his genuine affection for the party. But it's unfortunate that while he stays in the party, there are also people that are also spoiling the, the, the cook. I mean, I think that we lost Mr. Tamanola there. Let me come to Michael. Michael, you've also been watching from the sidelines what's been transpiring between the presidential candidate or the presidential flag wearer of the PDP and, of course, um, the governor of River State. Uh, many had even said that the governor had ordered, uh, allegedly, um, the removal of the party's flags from um, the, the government house and, of course, the party's premises. But then all of those things seem to have been a hoax of sorts. But why do you think that this particular matter has dragged on for so long, even though the, vice president, the former vice president has stuck to his guns to say that Okoa is a better for him, a better choice for a vice presidential candidate. Why is Governor Wike still dragging this issue? Okay, um, Mary, let me begin this way, that Nigerians deserve to be taken very seriously by those aspiring to power this election cycle, because 2023 is way too important uh, for the survival of Nigeria, and you know, political parties should either shape up or ship out. Now, uh, whatever the truth may be about this um, entire drama, you know, it might take away from it is that, you know, um, the PDP and the presidential candidates have shown gross incompetence as per conflict resolution. There's a lot of brazen juvenile, you know, arrogance being flown around. And if we are to take into consideration what most of their social media aides have been writing, you know, then I'm also worried that they lack good advisors, you know, to, uh, for, for times like this. Um, 
going forward, you know, um, the, all of this drama, first of all, you know, less than eight months to the most crucial election in Nigeria's history is both unnecessary and avoidable. I know, I have a, a sense of sympathy for BK. I know what it feels like to be disrespected after putting in so much work. So I stand with him, sort of. He doesn't know me. I, you know, I don't work for him. You know, but I have seen these things play over and over again. Uh, incidentally, 24 hours before Governor Kowa's announcement as uh, the, the running mate to the Waziri, I, I had spoken with the Waziri's son, and I gave him my take, and he agreed with me. Now, if the PDP are unable to resolve a conflict such as this in how within one or two weeks, serious crisis. You know, there's going to be a lot of negotiations with people, countries we owe money to, the trade unions here in Nigeria, labor, you know, and the rest of them. How are they going to, to deal with these issues? I am praying and hoping that a more serious party can take advantage of this situation, you know, and cruise to power, because this is no time for just, these distractions are totally, um, you know, unnecessary uh, for Nigeria at this time. If I were the one, Given Wiki's importance to the party, despite PDP's pretense as to, you know, saying that Wiki is not really relevant to their electoral plan, yet they keep sending people, you know, uh, delegations to him to try and resolve the crisis. If I were the one, what I would do is grant him as many concessions as possible and get guarantee him working for the party. The elections are just next year here. May come May 29th, and if they get the victory, then the, and the president takes over, then you, you know that Nigeria's president has enormous powers. Let's not pretend about that. By that time, okay. if I put BK in his place, that is assuming, but not considering, that he's the hydra-headed demon they paint him to be. You know, I think that okay. this has gone on for too long, and it's really a shame for the PDP. Honestly, this is not what we need at the moment. Back to you, Mr. Terminal. I think we've gotten you back. Um, the governor has outrightly denied all of the claims that uh, he was removing the party's flags. Um, he, was, he instituted a suit against the party and Atiku. Um, I'd like to quote him directly. He said, uh, if, I, if he wanted, okay, well, he said, I want to tell the candidate. It is the candidate group that are doing all these things. Let the world hear. This is Governor Wike speaking. They are the ones plotting all of these things, thinking they will spoil my name. He ended, up by, he ended it by saying, you cannot. Now, he also explained that if he wanted to institute a legal action against the outcome of the PDP presidential primary, he would have done that within two weeks after the primary. And he has said again um, that um, if the... If, Vice President Atiku Abubakar wins or lose, uh, loses, I beg your pardon, um, that um, it's because of the people around him. So do you think that the handlers of the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar are um, targeting the governor of River State? If that's what you think, why? Look, um, our governor, is a very intelligent very passionate person for the, as far as the PDP is concerned. Our uh, governor is a legal practitioner by background and um, just take a track record of all the court cases that have been instituted under the, or the, this current administration. And you will understand that there is hardly anyone that the River State government has lost. The purpose of this uh, foundation is to the effect that what the governor has said is, is, is very apt, is very true. Um, there are people, as he has stated, if he had wanted to go to court, he would have done it. I mean, it's a pre-election matter. So you must do it within two weeks from the period of infraction. He never did that. One thing is certain, you have spoilers within the party. There are people that will do anything, I mean, to scheme. Some of them are, are, are two-faced people who, on, on the one hand, give an impression that they love the presidential candidate, but notwithstanding, 
So, so, so Mr. Tamanola, you're insinuating that there's saboteurs within the Atiku campaign team. And, that, and I'm still wondering, why would there be saboteurs within the campaign team in a party that's been trying to get into power in the past eight years? And at a time such as this, just like Michael said, why should the party be dealing with this kind of back and forth when they should be gathering together and getting ready for campaign season? Yeah, the question is uh, best to an answer. The question is uh, best to an answer. And um, only time will tell. When you, are talk, when you make reference to that particular case, understand that there can be no, there can be no lawsuit without a, an illegal instruction. And of course, by the time you go to the court, you'll be able to access the names of uh, not just the parties, but also the, the counter. Let them pick up the center, and at the end of the day, you get to the root of it. But the most important thing is, the governor has said he didn't do that. He's not scared of anybody. If he needed to do that, he will not need the consent of any particular person. He has his group within the party. They are in everything to make sure that they've given certain conditions to the presidential candidates. I think that everybody needs one another. So think that for the presidential team to think that, oh, we, River State and Wike can be done away with, I think that's an error. The government needs the party. The party also needs him. Not only does the presidential team need River State, the presidential team also needs the influence of the River State governor in the south, south, southern region. When we are talking about the southern region, we are talking about the west, the east, and the South South itself. And of course, we also know the dominant influence of the governor, even in the northern part. Take a, take a cue regarding the 237 votes he got, which is a widespread. You know that under normal circumstances, but for what some will be, the governor of Sokoto State, there was nothing that was going to stand on the part of uh, the River State governor in winning that, that uh, presidential ticket. Okay. But that one is already history. The most important thing is the, the presidential candidate must take the bull by the horn. It's a, it's a test field for him to so determine how, I mean, how is the, the, the capacity he put okay. in resolving this conflict is definitely going to indicate how he's going to be able to resolve issues of national uh, interest by the message of God to be get to the office of the president of uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. All right. Because uh, to be able to solve this, you need humility. Okay. You need open heartedness. You need to disbelieve and gather your people. If there is any time that the PDP meets with a, it's a time, it can't be better than now. Okay. Let me stop here because of all that. Yes, let me go back to you, Michael. Michael, um, there was a, a list of demands that uh, the Wiki group had pushed for to the national asking for the chairman uh, are you to uh, yocha are you to step down uh, we also heard um body judge a, a senior party chieftain also pushing um that he steps down being that the party's flag bearer is from the north and then it, you know the south deserves a chance um again that group also pushed that Atiku's ticket will be a one-term ticket and not a two-term ticket if he wins the election. And so let's look at these list of demands and what body judge's position is um, for the party. Do we see a depreciation in the major opposition because of this issue? Um, and how soon do you see, with the body language of everybody concerned, how, do you, how soon do you see this coming to an end? With regards to the chairman of the party, um, your chair you is from the north, and Atiku is also from the north. Uh, you know what they say about justice not only being done, but being seen to be done. You know, if right now, no matter what the you know the constitution of the party says, if the clamor, major clamor of you know uh, the crux of the matter, man, I don't see it as a big deal. I think that what is in the best interest of Nigerians should be at the forefront of these negotiations for the main opposition party. Are you is friends with Atiku and should have no problem stepping down if this is for the greater good. Um, 
You see, uh, with regards to the one term thing, Atiku had mentioned at some time in the past that he would um, serve for one term if he wins the election. It's one thing to say that, but you know the allure of power. Until we get to that bridge, we wouldn't know how um, it's going to be uh, when we cross it. Uh, BK is a very strong character, and a lot is going to hang on the, the, the people advising the presidential candidate and people I do not um, have much confidence in. Already, we see and uh, we read their statements on, on, on social media, and one can tell that there's a certain arrogance you know, around um, uh, this person. But you see, like I always say to such persons, there is no constitution, it's not written in the constitution, in the Bible or the Quran, that Atiku must become president of Nigeria. And these people need to have this at the back of their minds. What if Wiki supports another party and they win the elections? Or what if Wiki does not support any well, party at all, but does not lift the finger in support of PDP, and they also going to play any anti-party politics, and, and that he supports and, so and will stay in his party? God, where are the place God and faith in, 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 in their calculations? The governor has clearly stated that he's not going anywhere and he's in full support of the party. So these what ifs, do they really hold a place here? Uh, because you're you're making um, you know probability statements here, but the governor has you come know, out I told to say. You in the well, no, I, 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 go ahead. I, I, yeah, he has said so categorically, but I did tell you the last time we spoke about BK that it's possible for a man to say it's okay, I will stay, but I'll still work against you from inside. A, a sabotage is not a new phenomenon in politics. Mm. Does it seem to you that Governor Wike may be losing his grasp of the party, being that he single-handedly, for some pundits who said this, that he single-handedly held the party together when others went to seek for, in quotes, greener pastures in other political parties or others stepped away. He seemed to have been the one holding it together. Do you think that the reason why he's still screaming and kicking is because he does not want to lose that grip on the party? Michael. Um, Fortunately for WK, his tenure as governor is coming to an end. I think it is this is part of why he's been treated this way. The general feeling is that you know, having come to the end of his tenure, he will take whatever is thrown at him in order to remain relevant beyond 2023. You know, but I think that WK's character is a little bit tougher. Than, and that, than they have bargained for. Yes, his grant on the party will definitely um, be diminished, but it also doesn't guarantee that all will be well for the PDP, even if Wike is no longer in charge. Um, back to you, Mr. Tamanola. I, I have a very um, question that has been lingering in my head. Um, just to pick up from where Michael stopped, the fact that people are making a case for Governor Wike, um, for example, the River State PDP Chairman Desmond Akawu uh, told a newspaper uh, during an interview that the governor um, had single-handedly held the party together, cajoled people uh, to come together and, of course, keep the party uh, up and running. But again, I'm asking, should a party man be seeking for a reward of sorts because of what he's doing to make his own party work? Is there a reward system of sorts like, oh, you stayed in the party, let's give you a ticket? Or let's give you something. Is that what it should be in the PDP? Because I have no idea. For goodness sake, the purpose of belonging to an association is because of rights and obligations and benefits. You can't belong to whether MBA, whether to the uh, Swan, <coughs> to the media stations and whatsoever. There are obligations, and in return, there are also rights. Of course, um, um, the governor, first and foremost, the first dimension of this is ensuring that CDP um, uh, is maintained as a party to be jealous, jealous of, I mean, especially in, the, in its time period from 2014 to today. And you will agree with me that, uh, but, for, but for the steps taken by the governor, I mean, in terms of funding, in terms of agility and in terms of uh, its prowess and whatsoever, whether within the, within or outside of the of the of River State, it's been it's been it's been asked. And 
Uh, the Bible itself says that the, the laborer is worthy of his wages. Uh, uh, that point one. Point two is, it becomes even more serious the fact that they came together as a, uh, the governor's forum, um, headed by Akere uh, Dodu, the Southside governor's forum, to the effect that the president in 2023 should come from the South. That was an understanding, irrespective of uh, what they call it, CBP or um, FCC or wherever, they all came together. And in 2019, the, the PDP governors from the South deliberately ensured that none of them was going to contest, knowing fully that the tickets would come from the, from the North. And to that extent, I, this is my personal view, not the view of any other person. I saw this current um, um, arrangement now as, as a, a political despair. But notwithstanding, the governor has set foot. It is painful. I fell for him. We all feel for him. So, if you are talking about the reward system, if he didn't get the presidential ticket, and the group came together, the, the National Working Committee came together and said that, and, and, uh, uh, by vote, that Governor Wicket is now become the right. Even if you are not going to make him the right, you shouldn't have come publicly to make them type of the objective statements that were made to say that these are the reasons why you are choosing the other candidates. So you're telling me, so, so, so you're telling me, Mr. Tamunola, that all of this... Embarrassing. So you're telling me, Mr. Tamunola, that all of this is because of Governor Wiki's personal interest, because that's what it sounds like to me, and not necessarily fighting for Rivers people or even people in the South-South. No. Is this what you're saying? No, I won't accept that. I won't accept that. He was fighting for the party. He was fighting for Rivers people. But at the same time, if you have done well, then that city of, of the city should also be created occasion. Why? Why is there one of the All the candidates you are seeing are the at the national or state level, where are they going? Is it not because they believe that they have done well? Even Peter Obi was former governor of uh, 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 Anambrasi. Anambrasi. And he did not succeed in that particular realm. Will you, will you, be, will you have uh, anybody wanting to confront him in terms of uh, this thing? So if you have done well, or if you have uh, planted a seed, a time for harvest definitely will come. So if that harvest is what we are talking about in terms of the world system. There is nothing wrong with it. It's only God that knows the mindset of the human being. Uh, okay, I mean, I wonder where the, the, the place of the average voter comes in the, into this conversation. But let me come back to you, Michael. Um, the, the chairman of the PDP, Iyocha Ayu, uh, Senator Ayu, uh, was quoted to say that um, um, the governor, that's Governor Wiki, had come out to clearly state that he was not, he had, he was no party to the suit that was allegedly said uh, to have been put uh, against the PDP and Atiku. He's also said that the APC uh, is the one responsible for dividing the party, for the divisions that are going in, uh, going on within the party. Uh, I'm wondering, uh, how true is this? And if this is what the party chairman thinks or believes is the cause of the problems within the party, um, does, do you think that this problem, again, I'm asking, can be solved if this is what they're thinking, that the APC is the one who's responsible for the divisions. Um, why should a party like the PDP allow for outsiders to come into their party and dictate what happens? Okay. Um, you see, there's, when the premium times, which is supposed to be um, a credible medium, you know, Put out this story. Let me read out um, something they said. That you know the, the parties to the file, the case rather, um, include Mr. Wiki and the PDP chieftain, New Gent Ekamo. You know both of them are the plaintiffs, uh, uh, alleged um, plaintiffs, and that the suit was marked, you know, FHC slash APJ. You know, so basically the details of the. Um, um, file suits are here, uh, you know, they're listed. Now, is this so, uh, this new thing actually a PDP person? Because um, it, I find it a little bit strange.
for anyone to come out and say it's the APC. Because if this crisis does not exist in the first place, what would the APC have taken advantage of? Are we not seeing that there's actually crisis between the party and Governor Wike? Um, it's possible that a case was filed, maybe by this Newton person, because it lists Wike as a second uh, 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 um, plaintiff here. So is it possible that this other person filed this case with or without Wike's uh, 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 consent? I think possibility, as David Momodu said, and I don't usually agree with him, but in this case, it's possible that that um, we can explain mind games, you know. So what every other journalist will need to do, perhaps, will be to check out if this uh, uh, case was actually ever filed, following uh, what the reports by Premium Times. However, the PDB better resolve this crisis PDB. Okay. Well, I want to say thank you, gentlemen. Unfortunately, uh, Michael, your, your connection has been pretty uh, up and down. Uh, but uh, Chrissy Tamanola was a former special advisor to the governor of River State and Michael Achimogu is a media consultant. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being part of the conversation. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll always be there. Whenever I want to be there, don't thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you all for joining us on the show tonight. We hope that you had a pleasant time on the show. But don't forget... The future of Nigeria is in your hands. You decide how it plays out. So get your PVC, get ready to vote, find out where your ward is, where your polling unit is, and make sure that you cast your vote. Wait, watch it get counted, and then you can go home. The Nigeria that we want is us who's going to build it. I am Mary Anacon, thanking you for watching.